नमस्कार टुडे वील स्टडी दि कैल्शियम होमिओस्टासीस बै थ्री हरमोन्स पाराथरम कैलसीटोनिन एंड भिटामिन डी सो लेटस डिस्कस वन बै वन एंड लेट स्टार्ट उथ भिटामिन डी एंड भिटामिन डी वी कैन हैव द प्लांट सोर्स From ergosterol, it can be synthesized to ergo calciferol. This is vitamin D two, and we also synthesize vitamin D, that is D D three cholesterol calciferol from cholesterol in presence of sunlight. The UV radiation present in sunlight converts seven D hydrocholesterol to cholesterol calciferol in skin. so first cholesterol is converted to your 7d hydrocholesterol in intestine then in presence of sunlight it is converted to cholesterol calciferol which is your vitamin d3 then in the liver it is converted to 25 hydroxy cholesterol calciferol or calcified diol then in uh, then in the kidney in presence of parathyroid hormone it is converted to a dihydroxy derivative 125 dihydroxy cholesterol calciferol or calcitriol this calcitriol is the active form and this in intestine it increases the absorption of calcium and phosphate in kidney it uh, increases the reabsorption of calcium in bone it uh, increases the osteoclast activity and increases the synthesis of osteocalcin vitamin k dependent calcium binding protein of bone matrix so in bone we have two types of cells osteoblast and osteoclast and osteoblast are the bone forming cells they help in making the bone and they deposit minerals and collagen so the opposite action is osteoclast osteoclast are responsible for bone resorption osteoclast here this osteoclast activity is increased by calcitriol it increases the bone resorption that is it causes the destruction of the matrix and remove the minerals and collagen from the bone so it removes the calcium and uh, from the bone the calcium is released to the blood so then we call it as bone remodeling bone remodeling uh, it is continuously occurring in our bones due to the action of two cells osteoblasts and osteoclasts so they have just opposite action and osteoblast uh, help in making bone whereas osteoclast helps in breaking bone and ultimately it leads to the remodeling of the bone so calcitriol increases the osteoclast activity and it uh, helps in restoring bone formation that's why we say vitamin d is required for uh, bone then we will come to the parathyroid hormone and parathyroid hormone when there is decrease in plasma calcium concentration the parathyroid gland is stimulated to uh, secret parathyroid hormones and parathyroid hormone can act on either kidney or on bone in kidney it increases the calcitriol synthesis this one you can see in presence of parathyroid hormone calcifediol is converted to calcitriol so in, it increases the calcitriol synthesis and it increases the reabsorption of calcium in kidney and in bone it increases this parathyroid hormone uh, uh, like your vitamin d increases the osteoclast activity so it mobilizes the calcium from bone causes a bone resorption and helps in bone remodeling so all this leads to increase in plasma calcium concentration which helps in ex- uh, bone remodeling and this calcium when increases in plasma it activates the calcium sensing receptors on parathyroid cells and they can be useful in secondary hyperparathyroidism in in case of chronic kidney 
disease CKD chronic kidney disease so we can use uh, one drug et etyl calcetide et etyl calcetide which activates the calcium sensing receptors on parathyroid cells and can be useful in secondary hyper uh, parathyroidism in adults with uh, with uh, chronic kidney disease then this parathyroid hormone the recombinant segment of human parathyroid hormone uh, like your teriparatide is useful in case of hypoparathyroidism and hypoparathyroidism and uh, it is also useful in case of osteoporosis and helps in bone remodeling then calcitonin and uh, we have studied the thyroid gland thyroid gland uh, uh, has two types of cells follicular cells and para follicular cells follicular cells secrete your thyroid hormones like thyroxine and uh, triiodothyronine whereas para follicular cells also called as uh, c cells when there is increase in plasma calcium concentration they release calcitonin and this calcitonin uh, again can act in kidney and on bone uh, in kidney it decreases the reabsorption of calcium and phosphate and in bone it inhibits the osteoclast activity thereby ultimately decreases the blood calcium level so this calcitonin can be useful uh, in uh, post menopausal women uh, who are at risk of developing osteoporosis so to summarize uh, the plasma calcium concentration when it when it increases the para follicular cells of thyroid gland secrete calcitonin which decreases the plasma plasma calcium concentration to normal then when there is decrease in plasma calcium concentration parathyroid gland secretes parathyroid hormone which converts calcitriol to calcitriol both parathyroid hormone and calcitriol increase the plasma concentration of calcium to normal so this is uh, the overall actions of parathyroid hormone calcitonin and vitamin d thank you